Hey there folks, this is a quick tutorial on adding uh, raster base maps from the web into your project or raster data from the web into your project using a couple of pretty standard methods. Um, the first is using WMS or WT WMTS, which is adding data from a remote server, often from say a government agency uh, might have this available. The second is using base maps from organizations like Google or OpenStreetMap using a plugin called uh, Quick map services. And it's a, a really useful plugin, um, super popular for QGIS. So let's go ahead and walk through this. We're looking at data here on Athens Clark County. We've got some road data, we've got a sampling grid. I'm going to zoom in to just one specific area here. And um, we're going to start with WMTS. And that is a, a server based structure. Um, what you're going to see here, let me pull over this page Athens Clark County has an open data site. This is a page that's uh, hosted by, it's got an ESRI, um, every ESRI platform um, in terms of where these data are coming from. It's got a lot of variety, a lot of available data. One of the things that it's got is ortho imagery. So this is aerial imagery that was created in 2018. Um, if you were to download these files, it'd be quite large. So this is very high resolution data. You don't need all of it on your computer. You want to just have it available when you need it at the size that you need it. And so having it on a remote server and just being able to pull what you need at the time allows you to get the most updated data or just to get keep your hard drive clean. Right. So there's not a lot of information here about this layer, but it does have the link to the server, basically, um, to be able to pull the data. Um, we're pulling tiles um, is what we're doing. So map tiles. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to click on copy. Oops. Let's try this again. Now I'll hit control C. So I copied that data. I don't know why it's not letting me copy it there. If I go back over here now, I can add a WMS, WTMS layer, um, click on new connection. And I'm just going to call it whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it 2018 um, ortho imagery, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and paste that URL that I got. You can see the WTMTS and it's got all the stuff that we need here. All these other defaults for this layer are fine. The generally the server will tell or the, the page will tell you if you need to have authentication, say if it's restricted data that only some people can use, etc. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. You'll see it added over here. And if I click on this, look, now I've got my ortho imagery layer that I can just drag and drop into my map. And it will, you know, automatically adjust the resolution. Um, and it's pretty high resolution data. You can see here, you can see individual cars and windshields and stuff pretty well. It's pretty, pretty nice um, data set. So we've got our ortho imagery added. Um, the second um, that we can um, pull from here is doing quick map services. So if I go under plugins, QGIS is open source and it's got a lot of these handy dandy plugins here. Um, I'm going to search for quick map services. Right. Um, it's a pretty popular plugin, 2.3 million downloads, right? Um, pretty well rated. Um, I can pretty much trust it. You can either install it here or if you get a checkbox, just check it so that it's installed. These two little uh, mini bar options up here are from four quick map services. You can either choose from some of the most popular um, sources. So under OpenStreetMap, I can add OpenStreetMap here or you can actually search for particular ones that you want to use. If I wanted to use Mapbox base maps, I could type Mapbox and it will show me a selection of Mapbox base maps. So that was the fastest. There we go. And I could add one of those on there if I wanted to. So it's nice because it's already done the work of finding all these links that we can pull in, right? So if I wanted to add Mapbox streets, just click on add, add it over here. There it is, right? If I want to use OpenStreetMap, um, I can do that just by going under here, choosing um, OSM standard. Here's my OSM standard um, map as well. All right. So pretty, pretty straightforward to do. Um, these are both really helpful for just kind of uh, referencing your project. Sometimes you might just want to do a quick screenshot map and add a base map. There's lots of ways that these kinds of services are extremely useful to have in your at your fingertips. So hopefully this is a useful introduction to them.